Today with Chef Pachi, an amazing tuna tartare that you can make anytime in less than five minutes. Check it out, let's make it together. Chef Pachi. The first thing we need to do is get an amazing piece of the best quality tuna you can. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our sauce and it's delicious. And we are using coconut aminos nectar, which is kind of a syrup to it. We are going to add ginger. Here I have some of my great ginger that has been grated and frozen. Then we have some delicious red salt and you can use any salt you want. I just had this one and I decided that it'd be great to use it. And pepper. That syrup is sweet, so we add three tablespoons of rice vinegar. Our wasabi we're going to add at the end and a tablespoonful of sesame seeds. Also a tablespoonful of sesame oil. And that's it. Our delicious mix. Look at it. Beautiful, creamy and thick. The first thing we need to do is get an amazing piece of the best quality tuna you can. And you can buy it frozen and keep it frozen. You can also cut it frozen or cut it fresh. It's sometimes easier to cut it frozen. This way we can cut our dice like this when it's frozen or almost, almost frozen. And it'll be easier to get your dice all in a perfect shape. We're also going to cut some fresh one with a special sushi knife that I have. Serve this semi-frozen tuna slices. All we have to do is add some of that delicious mix and place your tuna on top. Refrigerate it and then serve it when your guests are ready to eat. It will be defrosted on its own in the refrigerator to keep the best quality. Now I'm going to show you how to cut pieces with a sushi knife. Sushi knives usually come for right-handed people, but there, this one, since I'm lefty, is a universal one. And it cuts our fresh tuna like butter. I love it. And since I live in the Pacific Ocean and I get fresh tuna when we go fishing, it's easy to cut it like this. Do whatever is easiest for you. Cut it fresh, cut it frozen and create your amazing tuna tartare in minutes. Once you have the sauce, dice your tuna, add a little bit of pepper and sesame oil to your tuna. This is gonna help it keep its shape and its color. A little bit of sesame seeds, and we're ready to store it until everyone is ready, because remember, this one was fresh. So we have made our Tuna tartare with fresh tuna and with frozen tuna. Now all you have to do is serve it in a beautiful dish and add the sauce on the side. I'm serving just a dot of wasabi on top. And that's it. Check it out. A beautiful meal in less than five minutes. And this sesame sauce is amazing. You can serve it with chicken kebabs, tofu, edamame. It's beautiful and delicious. Shepachi, delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy! Check out the ingredient list. Print it out and bring all those ingredients into the kitchen, your laptop or your iPad, and invite me over so we can both cook together. The video and you and we'll make an amazing recipe. Shepachi, delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy!